Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All righty, all righty, all right, all right, all right, here we go. <laughs> Welcome to a one on Wednesday. We have got uh, Suldo. Sal Salado, I still don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, this is one that Jerome gave me uh, in the package uh, now near two months ago. Um, so, uh, Salido, Salido, uh, Sal Salido. I, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure <laughs> how to pronounce that. I guess I have to hear it to, to really uh, uh, be able to pronounce it right. But uh, it is Italian, yes, uh, France. France, excuse me, not Italian, excuse me, moi, moi. So anyway, uh, this is what I had in the collection. Uh, this bugger here, I got uh, several, several years ago for from the Model Empire, and uh, it's a, uh, in a model shop and uh, toy shop uh, down in Milwaukee. So as you uh, notice here, it's all in a package. There is some damage to the package. Um, $9.99. I don't know if that really came out to the full price, but it was a good deal. I think that's a good deal uh, for this, even though it had a damaged package. This is the 927 Range Rover Rally, the 1984 edition. And I was pretty pleased with it. It was pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's got... Uh, decals in there and that's kind of cool and I really thought that was pretty special and uh, just just a really neat uh, model and and like I say I had gotten this several years ago and uh, was excited because I have never had um, Solitos uh, before uh, and from France so that was pretty cool I I had I think I knew that there was uh, this model maker but I did not have a Range Rover um, now I, I do have two um, uh, different branches of this but anyway so let me continue on the story here so um, I had that one and then I found this one on eBay and uh, the seller done you know showing this nice uh, 183 um the uh the rally from uh, what is uh the uh, pharaohs isn't it the rally of the pharaohs i can't remember now but uh i got it and uh and like cool cool this is awesome till i flipped it over i turned it around and it is missing the decals on the other side i don't know if that's to save uh production or what but then I go back and take a look at this one, and that's what the decals are on the bottom is, so you can finish their work. <laughs> so I was really kind of disappointed there that uh, I bought this. It was out of the package, which, you know, I had it in the package. I didn't want to open it, you know, uh, although I, I probably could have because uh, this one is, uh, oh, man, here it goes. Uh, this is this This does open. I don't know if I ever tried to open this one. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered. Uh, I think maybe I did open it because it just comes out so nice and neatly. But uh, the problem, oh no, that it, it does come off. Look at the, the <laughs> So anyway, if I would have opened it, I would have seen that, uh, yeah, there was nothing on that side. And here's the finished products that you're supposed to do. Oh, on the back and the front, on the nose, whole bunch of stuff. Well, anyway, so I had never opened that. I did not, uh, as far as I remember, uh, opening this. And so I, I never, I don't know. I don't know. I get hit on the head a lot and cheese balls. I don't, I can't remember everything. <laughs> so anyway, let's just slide. Well, maybe we'll slide that back in. I don't know. Maybe it won't slide back in. I'm not sure. But uh, so anyway, so that was kind of the story there. Uh, with this interesting uh, two-door Range Rover. Uh, I really, like I say, if you guys watch this program, this, this YouTube channel, you'd know uh, that I really love the uh, two-door Range Rover, and I'd really love to buy a real one uh, someday. So really kind of cool. So anyway, 
So that brings us to modern day today, a uh, couple months ago, uh, which brings us to this one, which uh, is got an interesting 55 on the bottom versus just being plain. And so I think that's a model denotion, uh, denotation. Yeah, I got it right. Uh, 143rd scale, um, you know, the Salido made in France, the Range Rover. It's got the uh, screw for the, uh, the base, but this is more or less a civilian model, which is kind of interesting because um, it does not have uh, the rear, um, it's, what do they call that? Commercial, commercial rear uh, closed in windows. It doesn't have the windows. This one does have the windows. So my question is, um, uh, Solano, uh, do they do they have the same uh, die, uh, die that you know smashes these out? At, like, is it the same die which would have the window, and then they machine that out, or do they have a separate die for for this model? But I mean, they're practically identically the same. They've, they've got the opening doors, both models. Now the uh, convertible or the uh, brown one that uh, Jerome set has got the um, brown interior, which the other one has got a black interior. So really kind of cool there. You get a different kind of uh, uh, look to it. But uh, very simple, straightforward, very, very nice. I like that it has door cards on the doors. That's very cool. And um, it is, it. oh, I just lost the door card. Yeah, it dropped on the floor. How do you like that? Okay, so we, we picked that up. <laughs> we picked that up. So let's see, it's got to go like this here, huh? Yeah, it goes like that there. Goes in there, we'll squeeze it a little bit there. There, yeah, that's going to fall out again. So anyway, at, uh, we have a right hooker, which is pretty cool does have a shifting gear knob in there uh yeah so really kind of cool there interior very kind of cool it's got the spare tire as you can see back yonder i don't know if you can see that because it won't focus but uh but yeah very kind of cool but as you see it has the rear window after the b pillar which is kind of cool it has uh slid in did they did they were those sliding windows in the back you know, I don't rightly know, but uh, the C pillar is painted and uh, very, very cool there. But uh, same kind of thing. They uh, no opening rear, but it does have the lens inserts uh, for the tails and tail lights, and then the front has uh, the corner markers, as lens detail, and the the headlights. So very kind of cool. Uh, same wheels and rims. This is what the rosette wheels. I really like that. Uh, my next most favorite um, wheel for the Range Rover is the uh, TriStar one. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, it's got the uh, gas filler there. But the lines in the uh, rear defrost and the windshield are pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So. I love this brown. It it uh, kind of is a metallic, but not too sparkly, but uh, in flashy. But it is a very nice. This is an excellent, excellent um, example of this um, regular. I call it civilian model of uh, this. So I, I just I just love it. Uh, windshield wipers uh, molded into the windshield. So very cool there. But uh, yeah, so it's a very fine uh, example. Really gl uh, grateful and, and glad that uh, Jerome sent me this and uh, I could add it to the collection. So really kind of cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I, now, I didn't check, but I believe there's like two or three colors of these. Uh, if you know how many colors there are, comment down below while you're giving me a thumbs up and, and subscribing. I think the subscribe button's over there. But uh, come on over to Facebook. Let me uh, see your pictures of uh, your Range Rover in the uh, Solido, Sol Solido uh, collection. And uh, yeah, I would be interested in seeing. 
a lot of you guys over across the pond there from the United States, uh, you know, this is kind of commonplace for you and you can really get some nice variations and, and boxes, box variations. And that's cool to see. I like to see that. All right, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks for joining me for a one-up Wednesday here on Roverland. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day!